It's really hard to believe it's been 40 years. Years, 40 years. In 1982, when I rode my bike down from Seattle, I had already started kayaking because I had had my rafting company for 10 years prior to this. Rather than taking people up to the river, it just made no sense when we had the wilderness right here in our backyard and we could go paddling right here. You could look out on the bay and there was no kayaking. It didn't actually exist for the general public. So Bob and I used to each take a double and sit in the back and then we would cruise the Sausalito waterfront and we would yell up to people, hey, you should come down and try it. People would go, what are you guys doing? What is that? It's kayaking. You never knew from day to day what the conditions would be, just like in the wilderness. And it was just like, okay, let's, let's do this. And that was the beginning of Sea Trek. We're sitting in the land of the Miwoks, the native peoples who were first here along the Sausalito shoreline. It is important to remember that the Miwok people were here first, and they were the original paddlers. They had their Thule reed canoes. Sea Trek, I think, has been a really good conduit in terms of reinforcing this community of paddlers. It's home to a lot of people. Being with Sea Trek, I feel like I belong here, and people are really happy to teach you. As a customer, it really matters. We designed the courses for people to experience themselves differently on the water. And we talk to them about how do you take this experience home and use what you learned about yourself in your everyday life. It's fun to be able to have a business that I can grow in and learn and, and then also actively be a bigger part of the community. I've been greatly influenced by the way that you interact with people. With creating the community here at Sea Trek was they saw it as a family business. When you have a chance to sort of surround your children with the kind of positivity and the level of kindness, I couldn't have asked for a more healthy environment. My relationship to Sea Trek is that it raised me, basically. My dad has worked here since before I was born. All of my strongest memories of Sea Trek are of putting so much energy into creating something really fun for whoever is coming to participate and just like throwing everything we have into that. It's really fun to share that experience with my own family who now is working here. Just seeing my mom spend all that time there, I was just wanted to kind of do more. I've met a lot of people through kayaking and it's been a very special experience for me. We're also about adventure. We have trips in Baja, and Italy, and Santa Barbara, and here on our bay. I mean, this is a awesome adventure to get out in the bay in a kayak or a paddleboard. I love everything, the environment, the birds, the seals, and the people here. There's nothing quite like that kind of community when you're united through sea kayaking. It feels like a significant marker to hit 40 years for a small family-run recreation business and for it to still be in the family. I feel like it is my role and responsibility to set Sea Trek up to be successful for another 40 years and to be continually being part of the community, raising new guides and having families be part of it. It's just like all the things that it is doing my job is to make sure it can continue for another 40 years. Yeah. I'll continue to be happy as long as I can come down and paddle.